1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Friha Hassan. The headlines first. Prime Minister paid surprise visit to various utility stores in Islamabad to review distribution of Prime Minister's Ramazan relief package. Information Minister says GSP Plus status of Pakistan will remain intact regardless of baseless campaign initiated by PTI seeking its withdrawal. Pakistani software and information technology companies have signed several agreements with leading global firms during Tech Expo in Riyadh. UN High Commissioner Office for Human Rights says India's citizenship amendment law is in breach of the country's human rights obligations. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif paid a surprise visit to various utility stores in Islamabad to review the distribution of Prime Minister's Ramazan relief package. The Prime Minister met the beneficiaries during the visit and asked them about the problems faced in getting the package. The Prime Minister directed the concern to ensure that the people who come to get the Ramazan package do not face any kind of difficulty. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Ataullah Tarad has said that GSP Plus status of Pakistan will remain intact regardless of the baseless campaign initiated by PTI online seeking its withdrawal. Addressing a news conference in Islamabad today, he said this online campaign is a conspiracy against Pakistan and an attack on the country's economy. He said the PTI is making this demand on the pretext that their founding leader is not being provided with facilities in the prison. He clarified that the facilities extended to the PTI's founding leader are not available to any other prisoner in the country. Saudi Park Tech Exhibition Leap 2024 was held in the Saudi capital Riyadh. 74 companies and 800 delegates represented Pakistan's IT industry. The Pakistani IT industry pavilion was the center of attention in the exhibition, which was visited by representatives of IT companies from all over the world. Repatriation of illegal foreign nationals, including Afghans, to their homeland is continuing in a dignified and safe manner. According to latest statistics, 10,245 Afghan nationals returned to their country over the last 10 days. So far, more than 513,000 Afghan nationals have been repatriated to Afghanistan. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, the Modi government has banned Jammu Kashmir National Front led by incarcerated Hurriyat leader Naeem Ahmed Khan. The ban has been imposed for five years under the Black Law, Unlawful Activities Prevention Act and is part of efforts by India to subdue the Kashmiris' struggle for freedom. The UN High Commissioner Office for Human Rights says India's citizenship amendment law is in breach of the country's human rights obligations. Talking to writers, a spokesperson of the office expressed concern over Indian government's decision to implement controversial law and term it fundamentally discriminatory in nature. Meanwhile, a U.S. State Department spokesperson also expressed concern over the matter and said the U.S. is closely monitoring how this act will be implemented. The Citizenship Amendment Law allows non-Muslim religious minorities, particularly Hindus from Bangladesh, Pakistan and Afghanistan, seek Indian citizenship. The European Union has denounced the use of starvation as a weapon of war in Gaza by Israel. Addressing the UN Security Council in New York, EU Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell said the situation in Gaza is tragic. And finally, cricket. In the Pakistan Super League, Peshawar Zalme will take on Multan Sultans at Karachi tomorrow. The match will start at 9 in the night. And that is the end of this news bulletin. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.